What is going on, my fellow ones? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at one of the first ever music videos by Twice, that being Cheer Up. This, I believe, is their second official music video in their entire discography or filmography. So let's take a look at a younger, um, fresh out of the debut, Twice. Okay. Okay, well the song is very catchy and upbeat, and I guess it's like a, f I was looking at the lyrics and it's definitely, ah, alright, this is complex, we're gonna unwrap this one, give me a second. Song wise, you know, like beat and a bit of the lyrics, right, it's very much talking about a guy, uh, and, you know, maybe like, it's, it's clearly like trying to hype up the guy, uh, into talking to the girl uh in this instance right and but it's also interesting because there are some lyrics in there that basically say that 
I'm, you know, the the girl that's hyping up the guy is who's I guess, you know, being like a little like hard to get ish, right? Um, is also a bit conflicted in the sense that if I'm if I if I'm like you know if I don't if I don't like make you chase me a little bit, you're gonna get bored. But if I make you chase me too much, you're gonna become disinterested, which is that classic. I hate it. To be perfectly honest with you, I hate it. Right? Uh, that like. That, like, little game where, you know, the, 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 you know, like, oh, you know, you have to work to get my attention. But then, at the same time, the girl might be like, but I really don't want you to work because I already like you. You know what I'm saying? But then, she's like, but that's, that's the, that's the norm of how it's supposed to be. Um, that's what the song is basically talking about. Which, I can appreciate. And, uh, it, it's, it's one of those things that, even to this day, it's still one of those like push and pull like it's 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 one of those things that still happen in 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 the dating spectrum of uh playing hard to get uh you know you, you, stuff like that i personally hate it um but it's still it's still here and let's be honest here it can be it can be fun if both parties are interested in doing that that's the most important thing if both parties are interested in that little like into in the let into that little like teasing back and forth being like oh you know i know you like me but i don't like you right now you know work for my uh, affection and stuff okay right but aside from that it's interesting because i've seen a couple of music videos that are later in the, vi uh, the filmography in um twice that i think this is kind of taking from and i'm gonna do a little research but these set pieces are referring to something. They have to be because there's so many different set pieces that don't really make sense together. For example, in the TT one, they're referring to all these different, uh, all of these different uh, Halloween and and classic like costumes and stuff like that, right? Uh, and then something like What Is Love, which is referring to movies, um, uh, classic romantic movies that sort of display what love is supposed to be in media towards people who are watching them which might give them a false impression right they're doing something like that here but i have no idea what it is <laughs> so i'm gonna do a little research and then we'll talk about the music video more specifically they did it again they did it again unbelievable okay so having done a little bit of research i gotta give full credit to uh, uh to a a tumblr called k-pop time out okay they basically told uh, they basically explained what was going on right so <laughs> this camera person is sort of indicative of a camera in the sense of a movie camera and each individual member of twice is sort of the leading uh star of a variety of movies okay now i don't know all these movies or and not necessarily movies they're, they're not inherently movies uh, some of them are uh, we'll, we'll get to them um but i've only seen three of these movies i've only seen three of them but we'll go through them individually so we start off with the with the okay so the everyone is is together and they are together at the very end of the video as well okay this is where it was really confusing. We have Nyon in the middle, specifically Nyon. This is important for Nyon. And then uh, the camera person has his lens that he keeps switching between. She's on her she's on her phone. Okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. This is supposed to be scream. This is the movie Scream. I didn't. It, it didn't really uh, hit me that her phone is is uh, no longer the modern iPhone, right? This is 1996 Scream, phenomenal movie. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a horror uh, uh, movie, but Scream is a good movie. Oh my God! This. Okay, so now we have Amina. Uh, and it's interesting how Nayon is now here, but she's no longer the main character of whatever uh, of um, whatever the movie is, right? Mina is the main character of the movie Love Letter, which I have not seen, but that's pretty cool. It transitions because the camera now switched over to her being the protagonist of the movie. 
and she has the letter. But now it switches over to Sana, who is Sailor Moon. Now, Sailor Moon is an anime that I have not watched. I know, I know, shame on me, okay? I'm getting into anime slowly but surely. The only animes I've ever watched, anime, animes, I don't know. Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I didn't even know Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were anime, but they were. Uh, stuff like that, right? Sailor Moon, classic anime, classic. Uh, this might be much more apparent to uh, other people that she's clearly Sailor Moon. It wasn't uh, uh, completely apparent to me, but Sailor Moon. <laughs> This was crazy. Okay, this is Chewy. Oh my god. Beautiful, elegant, ravishing Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh my god. This is a movie I know. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, oh my. Audrey Hepburn. Ah, oh, Chewy. Perfect encapsulation of Audrey Hepburn. Perfect. Elegant, beautiful, radiant. Oh. Sailor Moon. See, it focuses on her, it focuses on, on Chewy, but now she's no longer the main protagonist. It switches over back to, back to Mina, as she's now the main protagonist and now is the one vocalized, uh, doing her vocal section of the, of the song. And then we have Momo. Oh my god, in heaven. I, I the first time I saw this, I was like, Charlie's Angels, I, I she was packing a lot of heat, okay, so I was like, uh, Tomb Raider? Apparently, Momo is Ghost in the Shell, which is another iconic anime. I believe Ghost in the Shell is more of a movie rather than an anime series like a, like a Sailor Moon. But, oh, be still my heart, good lord in heaven, okay? Mom over there. Oh, that's there's three There's three individuals. There's three members, right? We have... Oh, my God, this is so... Hold on, I have to, I have to play it. I'm sorry. We have, we have Zhong Yong, and then we have uh, Jiyo. I think I'm gonna die. Arrest me for whatever crime. Look at how many guns she has. She has two in the hands and two holstered. How is she shooting this many? Now this I don't know. I have I had no idea what this was. This is apparently uh, Chung King Express from 1994. It's an indie movie. Never heard of it. Oh my god. I, oh my- oh, okay, okay. So, okay. We have this clean transition of Zhang Yong, clean transition from her movie into... Bring it on, dude! Okay, okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's so random. That's it. That, that's such a random movie in the sense that I wouldn't imagine people know that movie because it's a very niche teen two thousands movie. I was still a kid when I, when uh, that movie came out. I wasn't interested in it. But then you know when I got a little bit older, I was like, this movie's kind of kind of awesome. <laughs> but obviously, the main character for that one. Where are you? There you are. Oh my god. Oh my god! She just recently, she just recently released her, uh, solo. Jihyo. Oh! God! My, one of my personal favorites from, uh, from 16. I can't. I can't with her! And yet, I must. I'm not sure what this is, because this is all of the members, and I'm not sure who they're singling, singling out. I think they're singling Nayon, and this might be Scream? Now, okay. Che Young over here. Gunslinger. Obviously, this is a Western. There's no doubt this is a Western. I'm not familiar with this movie either, but apparently this is referring to Gunslinger. But obviously, so I got to give her props, okay? She was able to swirl that gun around 
Good for her. She she must have learned how to do that. Ah, ah! <laughs> Another movie I'm not familiar with. Uh, this is uh, Taeyeon, but this is Huang Jin Jin Yi. Not familiar with this movie either. A lot of these movies I don't know. What the hell, bro? The duality of the raps. Oh my god, the, going back to back between the two rappers, amazing. I love it. I love it! But I also think we should point out specifically what's going on over here. Okay, worried I might tire out your patience. This is referring back to the, the gist of the song. The, the, um, the cheer up, talk to me. Don't be afraid to talk to me, but I still gotta let you kind of like work for this uh, attention and, uh, and affection and stuff like that. I think we've gotten through every single member now. God. I give up. I surrender! That hair is so crazy! This is clearly Scream. This is the moment where it's in, it would be, it would really make a lot of sense. If I know the movie, this is like that moment where they each get their individual moment. Now, I've never seen Love Letter, but if I was to, you know, that cliche love letter, con love confession thing to you, this is the perfect encapsulation for it. And I swear to God, I'm, I, there's no love letter. I'm not giving one. I, I'm already sweating, okay? Is she going to accept my love letter? I don't know. God, I'm, I'm dying over here. Now, I gotta give a lot of props to Nyon over here because Scream, this is obviously the beginning of the movie of Scream. The, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it if you don't know, but something doesn't go well for the main character in the movie Scream at the very beginning of it, right? But her, uh, it's, it, the, the main character in the movie is terrified because Ghostface, that's the name of the killer in Scream, is, you know, not doing good things. It's a horror movie. Props to Nyon over here with her acting skills. Fear instilled in the eyes, you can see it. Awesome ending. Awesome ending. And then it goes into this. I'm like, what's going on? All of the members are in their movie costumes, but they're back in the very beginning. And they're all kind of like... Like, specifically Nayeon. Like, are they are they doing the thing where... Like, Nayeon is like, oh my god, he just confessed to, confessed to me on the phone. I'm so giddy and excited. The love letter, she's like, oh, I'm blushing now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Momo's just straight up sh blasting people, dude. Just started blasting. <laughs> He's like, what the hell's going on? I just noticed he has an NBA jersey on. <laughs> Great music video. Phenomenal music video. I love this about the, uh, um, about twice. The, 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 the references. We're going to wrap it up. We'll wrap it up here.
the references to modern or or pop culture, not necessarily modern pop cultures, because not all these movies are are um, new. Like Breakfast at Tiffany's is not very new, but it still is very much a pop culture icon of its own right, where it stands the test of time. I can't say that too much for something like Bring It On. Maybe it really does, because it's kind of an iconic movie. But something like Breakfast at Tiffany's, right? That's a movie that I know to stand the test of time that a lot of people are familiar with. Scream is another interesting one, where it's definitely got its pop culture thing, and they keep making Scream movies. <laughs> what do we have? Scream, Scream 7 now or something? But the the infusion of pop culture things right whether they're modern or of the past uh and infusing it in their music videos is something that i love about twice and it's so cool to see that something like tt uh being later in the discography uh that influence of the pop culture in the music videos is on their second official music video they came out with the first music videos, uh, with the zombie-esque theme and the school-esque theme, right? But uh, this one is just grabbing from a bunch of things, infusing it into one cohesive music video. It kind of has a good story through line, the leading ladies uh, in that one. I loved it. I like this music video quite a bit. And I, I like the song, obviously, but we're talking about the music video. I love this kind of stuff. I can't wait to see more of this from Twice, and I know we do have more down the line. So thank you for being a part of this reaction to Twice. Cheer up. I'm all giddy, I, uh, except when Momo's pointing the gun at me. Then I'm not giddy anymore. Then I'm fearful. I'm like Nyon in Scream. But right now, I'm cheerful. I'm happy. So be sure to cheer up. I hope this video brought you cheer. Thank you for being a part of this reaction to Twice. Cheer up. Goddamn, what are we getting next? Oh my goodness, what are we getting? A big shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you so much for your generosity and your support. Thank you, Liliana. Thank you, Millie the Bean. And thank you, Kelsey. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it.